with the funds of uh, DFID, uh, we are implementing a multi-sectorial response uh, with different agencies. For DRC to be able to implement this kind of projects, we've had to uh, involve so many stakeholders. We had to talk with the district water department and take them through our designs. Also, uh, Office of the Prime Minister, which is uh, our caretaker in this camp. And also, uh, even different departments in DRC. We had to sit down with our logistics team, long hours of discussion how to engage in this. And also just our top management who successfully managed to convince the donor that we, we, DRC has not only the capacity, but also the willpower and the technical capacity to be able to supervise and successfully implement this kind of project. For the first time, we are going to run a system that is purely going to use energy from the sun, solar energy. We have installed two systems full with a solar panel. So what we have here is a 190 to 75 watt panel and it's supposed to power a 50 cubic pump with over three kilometers of pipeline for transmission feeding into a 150 cubic reservoir tank. So that tank is supposed to spread the water in most of zone two with about uh, 22 tap stands, which are placed in different locations, including uh, our office. So we have the same setup where we have the panels and the submersible pumps installed and the pumping station. The systems have also been designed with uh, manual chlorination uh, chambers, which uh, can be able to chlorinate at an average of about 0.5 milligram per litre. And then uh, the borehole is also feeding uh, an 80 cubic tank set up by our partner who we are working with in collaboration to ensure that the whole of Zone 1 is having access to clean water. When you uh, come to Invepi, the terrain is very unfriendly. There was uh, a lot of breakdown of machinery spacing between the tap stands to place the 190 solar panels. That was our biggest challenge during the process of implementing of the project. The biggest impact will be that over 23,300 people who will benefit from safe water. We are talking about a system that is providing 350,000 liters per day. This system is going to help us to reduce or do away completely with the problem of water tracking that is so costly that at times areas do not get water, some areas do get vehicles that take water do break down. But this system, if it operates at maximum efficiency, we believe the problem of water will be solved in Invepi refugee settlement. We have a problem in South Sudan does make us to come here to Uganda refugee camp settlement. By the time when you are now in the settlement, there is a shortage of water. Sometimes we can get one jerrycan or two. That water is not enough. The DRC started to work with us. You will reach something of four to, to five jerrycan there. The donuts come and help us so that we get more water in our area. This system will not only solve the problem of water, it will also solve the problem of unemployment. That is where the host community is going to benefit. We need to get people to help in the operation and maintenance of the system. The RRC has recruited pump mechanics and pump attendants that will help us to ensure that the system lives up to its design lifespan and it is sustainable. 
So for that, I think we are meeting the donor's dream of helping the most vulnerable in the community. And this will be David's footmark.